Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is about lessons that we learn through the universe and experiences and how we can grow from them. Let's dive in. The saying that has been coming up often in my life lately and what I've always kind of said or at least over the past five years or so is that the universe will always try to teach you through love first but if you do not learn the lessons through love it'll definitely teach you through pain i'm sure you've had experiences we've all had experiences where we've had things that didn't work out our way and they were extremely painful they hurt they hurt our mind body uh, our heart our soul whatever you want to say a uh, combination of these different things what i've learned is when we experience these lessons, although they hurt, and especially when they hurt, they're there for us to learn and grow from. You may or may not know this or have experienced it yourself. Uh, there's two mentalities that often play a role in people's lives and it's really one or the other. You either realize or you live your life as the victim saying that I'm powerless, this stuff is all happening to me, I have no control over my life, but that is not the truth. The truth is that you do have power over your life. And if you're someone who's stuck in a victim mentality that says, I you know, don't have any control, all this crazy stuff has happened to me, I don't understand you know, why has it always happened to me and all these things, that's you playing the victim role. And the opportunity and how you can shift out of the victim role is to think, what am I supposed to learn from these situations, from these people, from these relationships, from this job, uh, from this pain in my heart, in my mind, in my soul, this experience, what is it that I need to learn from? Here's a very rudimentary example to kind of take some of the charged emotion that this may or may not be triggering in you. If your mom says, don't touch the hot stove, you're going to burn your hand. And you go, yeah, I hear you. I understand. I get it. And she's like, no, I'm serious. You're going to burn your hand. You go, yeah, yeah, I know. I get it. And then you burn your hand because you touched the stove, you didn't believe her. Well, you had to learn through the experience. Now the pain that you feel in your hand from your skin freaking burning and melting is so painful you'll never forget that lesson. So what you have to understand is that this it's the same thing in our lives. When we experience something, whether it uh, be an emotional heartache or uh, a mental challenge, a block on our business, something even with your fitness, of course, right? Gotta throw that in there. You have to ask yourself, what is the lesson that I need to learn from this situation in order to grow? Because what happens is when we don't learn these lessons and the way that we illustrate that we've learned them is that by facing the same situation but responding differently. But if we don't learn the lessons, the same situations will come up over and over and over. Just they'll look slightly differently at a slightly different time in your life. But the lesson, until you get the lesson... And again, pass the test by changing the behavior. Next time you, should, you, you face a similar situation, that shit will come up over and over. And even, if it, even if it is something that you've learned that you've grown from, it's probably gonna still come up again at some point, just to make sure that you really get it and you got that lesson dialed in. So the message today is that you're not a victim in your life and it's a reminder that the challenges, the pain, the problems, the situation, the breakups, all these things, leaving uh, you know old, um, jobs or careers or getting into uncomfortable situations or putting yourself in bad situations where you're being mistreated by other people or disrespected, wherever the case may be. Again, they're all lessons that we need to learn in life. My old client and friend now, longtime friend, uh, he has a buddy of his that wrote this book. It's called Soul School. And I can't remember, I actually haven't read it myself. He just always told me what the book is. I'm just sharing it with you because it kind of comes in my mind right now. But reach out, I can find out what book it is if you're really interested. The premise of the book is that, you know, you've heard that saying or may have may, may or may not have heard the saying that we're all spiritual beings having a human experience. So if we're all spiritual beings just having this temporary human experience up to 100 years of, you know, existence, whatever it is, then... The premise of this book is that the soul that we are underneath, excuse me, it lives on forever. But the purpose of the life that we're living is for our soul to evolve and learn the lessons by having these experiences on 
the planet by going through these different situations and relationships in order to learn, grow, and evolve on a spiritual level. And so what is all this stuff, right? Some of this shit's probably too woo-woo for a lot of people, which is cool, I understand. Um, you know, it might sound a little crazy, but it's the truth of it. When you start really going into your pain, you want to heal your life and help other people. You'll start to recognize these things that everything in your life, it did happen for a reason. It was there to teach you a lesson because when you look back now, you go, dang, okay, well, now I know better. I shouldn't have put my hand on that hot stove. Gosh, I, I did it again. I burnt my fingers again because I touched the stove again. And using that as an analogy or a metaphor is, man, I'm dating that same type of person. I got in that crappy relationship. They had the same characteristics of my last girlfriend or boyfriend or dang, I shouldn't have done that job again or shouldn't have, uh, you know, whatever. Or next time I do this, I need to do this so that I make sure I don't, you know, make the same mistakes. And if you look back on your life like that and you look back at the experiences, especially the painful ones that you remember or even now, again, the current situation that you're in that's painful, you can glean important life lessons uh, as a result of reflecting on what that pain is and what it's trying to teach you. Um, you know, some people like the journal, some people don't, uh, the ones that, you know, um, whether you do or you do not, I recommend it. And especially if you don't, if it, maybe it's just something you're not used to, you've never done before. It's incredibly helpful to write your thoughts out and get them on paper because when you get them on paper, it takes some of the emotional charge out of it and you're able to look at things more objectively. When you take the emotional charge out of things, you can think a little bit more clearly when you can think more clearly, you're able to more accurately reflect and learn the lessons that these painful situations are trying to teach you. So again, to remind you, this video is about reminding you that you're not a victim in your life, that you are the one creating it, and that everything coming into your life is an opportunity for you to learn and explore the situation on a deeper level so that you don't make the same mistakes, so that you ultimately can overcome that challenge and create the life that you want to be happier, to feel better, to make the money you want, to uh, have the relationships you want, to be able to do some of these things that you want to do and have these different excuse, uh, experiences. Excuse me, man, I got the yawns today. So anyways, take the time to reflect, if, especially if you're going through a painful situation right now, and write out what is the current situation that's causing you pain in your business and your relationships? What's something that's present to you right now? And just write it out. Get a pad of paper and a pen. And say, man, this situation is really shitty. Uh, it's really uncomfortable. It sucks. I hate it. Blah, blah, blah. Write out however you feel if you need to get out all that energy and all that crap. And then sit there. When you're all done kind of venting on paper, that's really what it is. And it's, it is it's a cathartic therapeutic experience. You sit there and you go, what is this situation trying to teach me? What is the lesson that I can learn from the situation? And you will be amazed at what starts to come up. And on that note, it may not come right away, but if you ask that question and kind of think about it, it will eventually reveal itself and you go, ah, gotcha, okay, now I understand. Now, the next step is, okay, you understand, you've learned the lesson, but the real test, as I mentioned before, is when you face this situation again or this opportunity or whatever it is, how will you respond? Will you do the same thing or will you respond differently and learn what you need to learn so you're not making the same mistakes, so you're not experiencing the same pain? That's the key. What I've learned is that learning is in the application. The One of my favorite quotes of all time it's been coming up over and over again recently for me is by Benjamin Franklin and he says tell me and I'll forget teach me and I'll remember involve me and I'll learn we learn by doing learning happens through experience because you can sit there and read a thousand books on how to I don't know build a coffee table or you can just go build a thousand coffee tables and you're definitely going to make a much better coffee table having never read a book but doing it a thousand times. So you have to learn by doing and it's in the application. So those are the reminders today that you're not a victim of your life. These situations and circumstances are temporary and they're there to teach you lessons. And if you take the time to learn the lessons, you will be able to move forward and move past these challenges 
and you will have opportunities to be tested to see if you've learned them in the future. So I hope this was helpful today. I appreciate you listening and we'll see you next time. Peace.